are y'all so giving this wig after a month use a deep conditioner so i just wet it and i pour some conditioner on it and i'm about to comb it through all right now that my wig is combed through with the conditioner i'm going to let this sit about 20 to 30 minutes with the conditioner on I'm not using nothing major conditioner just something for moisture because curly hair needs moisture so i wet the hair i put the conditioner really really good all the way through and i took a wide tooth brush and i started from the bottom and worked my way up and combed it all the way through the conditioner and now i'm going to let it sit for about 20 to 30 minutes and it's also very important to get back here in this nape area when you're doing your wigs because this is where you sweat at the most and this gets super tangled but see we have no tangles or anything like that the conditioners work really really well through you want to get that really well we have minimum shedding this hair point this hair has been in a ponytail for two weeks just sitting not combed or nothing like that i really just snatched it all put on another wig and didn't really do this what i was supposed to do which is take care of it but still have beautiful curls nice luster in here and this uh, wig also had a lot of product build up in here so when you wet it for the first time before you wash it um condition it you really want to get that product out of there really really wet it really really good so it can absorb that um conditioner this is the conditioner i used nothing major something that was on sale at sally's all righty so i got all the conditioner and rinsed out of the wig and it's just you know still a little wet i wrung it out as much as i could but it's curly hair so now i done combed all of the hair back so we can see the lace because i'm gonna change the part up and there's some hair some lace here i gotta cut a little bit just because this wig you know been through a little bit and i like to switch the parts from the side to the middle so i got it to look natural so now i'm going to put some of this mousse on this is my favorite mousse for curly hair it really lays the hair down and it gives the curl a nice uh luster and it keeps them defined so this mousse is really really good right here and i'll get back to you so i think i'm gonna do a middle part so i'm gonna part here in this middle put some mousse on it and part here and i'll put the mousse all the while and comb it through and then um i'll get back to you y'all don't be mad i thought i recorded y'all don't be mad i thought i recorded me doing this wig but i pulled out the baby hairs i sectioned this i parted it out put the mousse through got a nice and nice and um smooth and flat we used this mousse on it uh combed it all through and um we're gonna wait for it to dry so after you wash and condition your wig you put it on your mannequin head and you part it where you want it to you add your before you part it, you can add some mousse then you part it where you want it to go um i pulled out a little bit of baby hairs i kind of made like a little u section here i pulled out a little baby hairs and pulled everything else down after i got this all nice and smooth with my rack tail comb let's get some of the hair out of here had a little bit of shedding once i get it all smooth with my rack tail comb then i go and i add some mousse to my ends and i'm gonna let this sit and tomorrow i'll be ready i'll cut these baby hairs and i'll just do that tomorrow but everything else will be already done for today um it'll be done and ready to go tomorrow i just gotta do the baby hairs and this is gonna dry like i said before i didn't know the video didn't record is i won't have to mousse this hair for about three to four days because i like it bigger it starts off like really really looking like this a little bit but dry and as the days go on it gets bigger and bigger and once the product starts to wear out and then once it get bigger i'll spray it down with a water bottle add a little mousse and then keep it moving but this hair is really really low maintenance um curly hair needs moisture so once a week deep condition your wigs start combing from the bottom and work your way up wet it really good put your conditioner on let it sit comb it from the bottom and work your way up we're going to be using one of these brushes so when you comb in that conditioner in there this is allowing it to get on everything so please put the conditioner in and comb your wig and let it sit so that's the key but i hope this was a little bit helpful on how to condition your wig and get it back to life after it's been worn because this bad boy's been through some stuff like i told y'all it was just sitting with in a, um it was just sitting with a ponytail in there because i was working out and all that stuff like that i snatched it off and do this wig one so i've neglected my baby so i'm getting her back right but it don't take much so see y'all soon have a good day any questions hit me up Mwah. our wig is starting to dry and I'm going to fix that part a little bit. It's the knots in there, everything are already bleached. But you see, once you wash it, your part is a little bit wide. So I'm going to be taking some of this concealer. And then I'm going to be taking some mascara. Don't mind it. This stuff been in my makeup bag. Um, and the mascara, I'm going to put like here to tighten it up. 
but keep looking. We're going to add a little bit of this, draw a line with this. Then we're going to take our mascara to tighten up that part. All right, I know it looked crazy, but I just took this and kind of lightly drew down a line. Watch how we clean that up with the mascara. Little strokes. Tighten that line up, clean it up. Bring it in. And this is a cheap, the cheapest mas black mascara they had at Walgreens. Nothing major. And you don't have to do this every day. It's only when you wash it. Tighten up your line. Take your comb. Press it down and in there. Some people put the comb here and they like to spray a black spray. But I like the mascara. I feel like I have more control with it. Another trick I learned to cut in baby hairs is going on an angle because when you swoop that you don't want it to be so long back here so i say keep it about i like mine a little bit longer so i'll keep it like an inch and i just go up not too much but enough because once you get it on you'll be able to change it up a little bit so kind of see how that one already had the line there because some of the other baby hairs old baby hairs was in there just take it up a little bit on an angle when we swoop them baby hairs it's gonna lay see how that comes like that it's gonna be good so we'll let this dry and tomorrow we'll be good to go we got our baby hairs caught in a slant we got our part defined we got our curls drying nicely so we should be good to go for tomorrow this is going to soften up a little bit not gonna be so bright um yeah we're gonna be good to go